We are going to take a look at profiling a .NET desktop executable. I'm going to use an early build of an obfuscation and error reporting tool we make called Smart Assembly. After selecting New Profiling Session, you just need to navigate to the application you want to profile. At this point, you could actually begin, but it's worth mentioning some other configuration which is possible. You can choose one of five different profiling modes, ranging from the most detailed, collecting line-level timing data for all methods, down to a sampling mode, which has a very low overhead, which is great for use in production environments, or where having minimal impact is crucial. Ant is able to show you real-time performance information while you profile the application using performance counters. By default, you're showing the CPU usage, but let's just add a few more. OK, let's hit Start Profiling. As soon as the profiling session begins, Ants will launch your application for you and begin showing you the performance counter information on the timeline so you can easily see exactly what's going on. You can highlight different counters like the thread count or remove them altogether. You need to reproduce the behaviour which you want to investigate. Here I'm going to look at the performance of viewing error reports. You can see the immediate increase in CPU usage on the timeline. To explore that, you just click and drag on the timeline to select the time period to look at, and immediately Ant generates the cool graph for that region and expands it to show the most expensive path. You're shown accurate timing data and hit counts for every method, and by selecting any method, you can see the source code with precise timings and hit counts for every individual line of code. If you don't have source code available, you can even generate it by decompiling with the integrated .NET Reflector engine. An incredibly common cause of performance problems is the way applications access data, and Ants lets you quickly get a deep understanding of how data access might be affecting your application. It records all database queries run against SQL Server or Oracle databases, as well as information about how long those queries took and how many times they were hit. Most importantly, after selecting a query, you're able to jump back into the call tree at the point where the query was run, so you can see not just that a database request was made, but exactly why it was made too. If you're working with ORMs like Entity Framework, this information can be invaluable. Ants also profiles any web requests made by your application and can show you detailed request and response header information along with timings. Just like with database queries, you're able to jump from a web request back into the call tree to see the precise reason why that request was made, which is really useful for spotting long-running, unnecessarily repeated or even failed requests. Finally, Ants captures information about any disk access and can show you a complete list of any files which have been accessed, how much data was read or written, and how long it took. To see how much faster you can get your application, just download your free trial today, and do get in touch with any questions you might have. We'd love to hear from you.